Hey folks, here is Rachna Ranadi here, and I welcome you all to our Thursday live stream uh, after a gap of almost two Thursdays. Um, I was not keeping well, uh, and that was the reason why I was not able to conduct two Thursday live streams. Uh, was suffering with heavy acidity, and finally, I decided to go for panchakarma. Panchakarma. <laughs> so, um, feeling way too better uh, as compared to. No, two two weeks ago, uh, but it was a tedious process. Uh, the food, the restricted food uh, for me, and you know, a lot of lot of uh, restrictions I can say, uh, and uh, that was the reason. I, I was in fact advised not to talk much, and I think that is uh, a big challenge for any content creator. That when you are told that you are not allowed to talk a lot, because that will drain out your energy. And um, in that case, uh, it was uh, really difficult for me. But you know, somehow managed for almost two weeks. When I decided to do panchakarma before that, I had done a lot of shoots, uh, so that uh, the uh, you know shoot, the Saturday releases keep on going. And finally, uh, yes, all everything is done, set. And now I thought we all are ready for our today's Thursday live stream. Last two weeks, uh, I have been watching Nifty, but was not able to convey my thought process. So today, immediately, without any further ado, let's get started. We will discuss about the Nifty levels. So let me just... Okay, so this is where we had left our Nifty a few weeks ago. Two, more than a shade, more than two weeks ago. And this has been the channel that we have been drawing since what? Since March 2023. And uh, we have mentioned about this so many times that Nifty has been in an upward trend, continuously in an upward trend. But, but this was last Thursday's closing. And if you have seen, now the lower band, I'm just zooming this in. Now the lower band that we saw, this has been acting like a resistance now. Okay, so if you see your one, two, three, entire week, in fact, entire week, Nifty has not been able to get inside that band. So, uh, is this my first, uh, I will not say it's a worry per se, but can that give me a sense of negativeness? Answer is yes. Because Nifty has been in this band for almost, what now, almost four or five months. And if that channel is, we are not able to get inside that channel within a day or two, that brings a little bit of question marks into my mind. So uh, this one doesn't show signs of positiveness. Still, the trend has not been broken as such. But yes, these are some early signs of weakness is what I can surely say. Okay, How are the pivot levels placed? So if you see here, I'm just again zooming in. Pivot is at 19,660. And if you see here, again, on Wednesday, this was the first time when it closed convincingly below the pivot. It has taken the support of 19,328 very nicely. And since then, it has been in the range of S1, that is support one, <clears throat> 19,300 and the pivot level. So uh, it has not shown a lot of weakness. It did take a support at 19,300 uh, S1. And since then, it has been trying to bounce back, but still has not been able to close above the pivot level. Okay. So we'll just go through one by one. Now let's check 50 days moving average. One per So again, let me just, uh, yes. So this was one key support. Now that I say that I can see a little bit negativeness or maybe tiredness in Nifty right now. That Nifty doesn't seem to be in a mood to just go on and on and on and just close above the previous highs of 19,990 something. Uh, but right now sees a little bit of weakness. And if that be so, what could be the supports are is, is what everyone would want to know, right? And like every other Thursday, we try and analyze what could be the support level so based on pivot 19,328 is one but 50 days moving average is also considered as a good uh, level for support i'm sure 200 day moving average is going to be very lower so makes no sense discussing this level right but nine, 50 days moving average comes to 19,239 so i can say somewhere between See, 19,239 and 19,329. So this range of, let us say, 19,250 to 19,350. Again, I'm repeating. 19,250, I'm just, you know, trying to round it off a little bit. 19,250 to 19,350 seems to be the immediate next support. 
okay i hope this point is clear 19250 19350 now even if you see some basic points macd is anyways in a negative zone the negativity the histogram is showing little bit signs of recovery but not much if we see the rsi rsi has been going down and down and down and right now it is at around 52 levels but again still sloping a shade downwards so all in all if you ask me nifty is not in a very happy mood right now uh, i can say maybe it is wanting to consolidate and in fact i will say that is a good sign if nifty just keeps on going higher and higher and higher without any pause that's that's not a healthy way to go up if it were to go ahead with a sustained rally then going up slowing down correcting a little bit again consolidating then setting up a base then going up that makes much more sense and i think nifty right now is in that zone of consolidating correcting a little bit uh, so people uh, i mean i i got few messages on on our office number that is it over now is is the bull rally over and uh, is there a lot of pain in front of us nothing like that i think this is a very basic uh, correction is what i can say see i have said this so many times on our thursday live streams 2 3% year and there after such a huge rally so if you were to just check this was the highest point right 19990 something from this level if i just were to see where are we right now it's a 2.2% correction correct 2.2 is nothing 2 to 5 5% is also not like crazy but 2 3% here and there is very normal so it's a healthy correction let it consolidate let it form some good base and then i think moving on to the next target makes much more sense so happy with this healthy correction is what i can say now as usual let's also try and see what is in the nifty option chain uh, and here let us just quickly check what does the option chain also say so let's take the immediate next thursday expiry first and see what is in store for the immediate next week here you can see highest open interest is at 19600 so seems that there can be a, a resistance at 19600 16998 open interest here 83160 is the change in oi so that's a big one and uh, so 19600 seems to be tough to crack okay now here on on the support side you can see 19500 seems to be some sort of support but not i mean it's not as great as this one so uh, clearly it is seen that overall call side seems to be uh, a little bit more stronger as compared to put side so uh, 500 may not be kept in the near term is what we feel even if i check the monthly data now for monthly data also you can see here right now highest built up here 20000 is is way too higher of course If we check nineteen thousand five hundred, that is kind of in the money, but still we have forty three thousand open interest here. And on the put side, we have nineteen thousand five hundred again. Seems to be kind of a straddle at nineteen thousand five hundred. So uh, for the monthly analysis, what I can see is that maybe we may stabilize around the nineteen thousand five hundred mark. But as of now, so that is a monthly view that I'm saying based on option chain. Nineteen thousand five hundred seems to be. Uh, a place where we may stabilize but in the shorter term uh, i feel that it could be a little bit of correction a little bit of consolidation is what uh, we can see as per the technical analysis right before we move to your queries just one quick uh, heads up i hope you have seen today's monetary policy uh, committee meeting rbi uh, which conducts the meeting uh, it was mentioned that there is no change in the policy rate no change in repo rate remains at 6.5% and uh, of course recently in june uh, the number of inflation had come up uh, a little bit owing to tomatoes and other vegetable inflation but all in all uh, it it is felt that yes inflation may stabilize around 4% is what uh, the overall meeting uh, sounded like right uh, one point that they have mentioned is that yes uh, they believe that overall projection for inflation if that is to be considered uh right now infl- so full financial year 23 24 inflation is expected to be around 5.4% and we have said this so many times right somewhere between so 4% is the target inflation plus or minus 2% is the range and entire financial year 23 24 it is expected that inflation would be around 5.4% and uh, right now q1 data that was released uh, for f424 25 
uh, the inflation number has come up to 5.2 percent but overall real gdp growth fy 23 24 numbers were also at 6.5 percent and q1 data is at 6.6 percent so good as far as inflation is concerned within within our so just to conclude right whatever i said inflation within our bank and growth also is as per expected one point that was that came up as a surprise today was something new which was introduced by the rbi governor and he said that we are going to introduce something known as icrr this has come for the first time and icrr is an incremental cash reserve ratio i'm telling one more time rbi governor today said that we are coming up with icrr that is incremental cash reserve ratio and he said that banks will have to maintain an additional 10 percent of the ndtl ndtl is basically net demand and time liabilities between 19th may 2023 and july 28th 2023 for those who felt that what what's happening in the last one or two minutes i'm not able to understand i'll simplify that i'm sure everyone knows that uh the 2000 rupees notes now uh, 2000 rupees not we know about that okay so 2000 rupees notes have been coming into the banking system okay that started coming in from around 19th of may okay and our rbi governor said that a lot of liquidity came up with the banks many people were depositing 2000 rupees converts and that is the reason why they were lending a lot banks were lending a lot because they had a lot of liquidity and so that the liquidity doesn't just shoot up in the system they said that temporarily we would want to increase the cash reserve ratio not the cash reserve ratio but instead of increasing the cash reserve ratio he said that we'll come up with icrr that is the incremental cash reserve ratio and 10 percent is to be maintained but of what 10 percent of additional those those ndtn the time and demand liabilities basically just to give you an example demand liabilities whatever has been deposited either in the current account or in the saving account that's like a demand liability why why is it called as a demand liability because you can demand that money at any point in time that you want okay that's a demand liability and what is a time liability time liability means something like a fixed deposit okay so assume that whatever were the 2000 rupees notes whether they were deposited in fd or in current account or in savings account whatever is that incremental uh, cash flow for the banks uska addition uska 10 percent right that has to be kept as an incremental cash reserve ratio now will that be a negative for the bank yes because earlier whatever they were able to give that they were able to pass that as a loan now their lending capacity will be decreased to will be i mean will decrease to some extent and uh, of course whenever you have to keep more and more cash as a reserve with you all uh, with the bank then uh, it's it's not considered that good and it may hamper the profitability to some extent okay uh lending capacity to some extent not the profitability per se but lending capacity may be affected one more news other than india was about the china's deflation that came up and uh, consumer prices in china have declined by 0.3% in july 2023 so deflation in chinese economy is is not considered as a good one it can have an adverse impact on the chinese economy it can lead to unemployment it can it can reduce uh, investments in china but uh, of course not a very bad i mean if if it's bad for the chinese economy somewhere we are like okay china plus one hum hai na. so that that can be a positive sentiment for us as well stock specific news one or two uh, just to give you a few i'm sure you have you are reading our blogs and uh, i had written about z entertainment limited in our blog and uh, that blog was almost a few weeks ago that i had posted and uh, in that i had talked about z entertainment and sony merger that was being challenged in the court and finally all uh you know whatever were the objections those have been dismissed and finally nclt has approved the merger of z entertainment and sony pictures networks india and because of which z entertainment is up by 16.5 percent today so it's a big move big jump for z entertainment uh one more uh news was about dream uh, that is uh, a company which is a small cap uh, but uh, it is into a very interesting space and a uh, company is basically into uh, technology based stuff uh, which is uh, you know related at so basically i can say in one sentence is that they they they, they are taking the travel experience of air travelers to a different level and uh, in fact uh, you know 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट करेक्शन इन दैट स्टॉक येस्टरडे टूडे इट गॉट अ फॉलो अप करेक्शन ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेल्व टू थर्टीन परसेंट इफ यू आस्क मी द बिजनेस मॉडल इज प्रोड यूनिक इट्स अ गुड वन बट देन वाई डिड द स्टॉक सी सच अज करेक्शन ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी टू परसेंट करेक्शन uh i'm making a separate video on that and the video is set to release tomorrow uh by the way how how many of you know about this company uh dream books so are you aware of dream books results you one result especially so just taking a quick poll uh so that i get to know uh start a poll i just put a poll would love to uh, know your answers uh because tomorrow as i mentioned the a very very interesting video is coming up and uh, we are going to first understand what does the company do we are also going to understand the industry analysis this entire air travel related industry you know Uh, how much are the expected number of passengers expected airport growth expected uh, overall lounges growth a lot of uh, new data points are going to come up in tomorrow's video in fact we are also going to talk about uh, some newer concepts which few people may be knowing so uh, just checking the poll quickly 79% of the people are saying they are not aware about the dream fox q1 results so i'm ending the poll right now uh, so you will get the results as well almost 79% said 78% said we don't know about it so don't forget to watch tomorrow's video is going to be uh, very very informative and you will get to know a lot about the company as well right chalo so with that said it done let's move on to our q and a session minakshi and shubha welcome to memberships are yaar vinod sorry i read your chat right now he says please say that nifty is going to shoot up in the coming week but uh, what i feel is it may consolidate or may go down and like see whenever we discuss in our thursday live stream needless to say this every time but we just try our best to do analysis based on technical analysis based on option chain and we we say this every time right not a buy recommendation or a sell recommendation it's it's just pure analysis we have to understand on our own so even if last two thursdays i was not doing a live stream i'm sure everyone at least tried to do their own analysis and understand what could be the next uh, phase in nifty right um harini harini is is very tensed about uh, polyplex i guess harini i had also uh, written i i remember me writing an answer to you it's okay harini uh, one of one of stocks do not perform as per expectations i had discussed about how the stock is fundamentally strong uh whenever you are investing i always say this don't put i mean why everyone says this don't put all your uh, eggs in one basket similarly uh, if you are getting tensed up about a specific stock so much it means that you may have concentrated a lot of money in only one stock see i always say this you should have and i have a separate video on this also puja i'm sure you are there so immediately i'm telling you a uh, uh, request right away i had made a video almost year or two ago uh, where i have discussed how many stocks do i have in my portfolio or how many stocks should you have in your portfolio something like that uh, try and find that video please and post the link of that video how how many stocks do i have in my portfolio and the answer that i had given is ideally 10 to 15 stocks so you can imagine you have 15 stocks in the portfolio out of that one is not performing well that is absolutely okay uh, that should not you know that should not give you sleepless nights and if that is happening then you have not done your portfolio allocation wisely okay so uh, i mean i do keep on telling this like i have something like a jubilant food works in my portfolio which is in losses i of course have polyplex in my portfolio which is in losses i have ircdc in my portfolio which is in losses but i have so many other stocks something like an rsc which is in huge profits i have something like bharti atel which is in huge profits i mean uh, zyada nahi baat karunga otherwise you know people keep on picking those stocks and uh, but i mean whatever stock of the months i have discussed ultra tech cement huge profits maruti huge profits reliance good profits okay rate gain huge profits so uh, these are just few to name okay so uh, this and if if one stock again i'm repeating this if, if one stock is is not uh, okay raton ki neend chheen raha hai aapse 
please ensure that you are not doing this why distribute your portfolio nicely one or two stocks are going to perform badly take it from me everyone i'm sure even mr warren buffett has made losses mr rakesh jindalwala had made losses all big investors have also made a lot of losses in few stocks mai to whenever we are discussing discussing at a very small scale as compared to mr warren buffett and you know, rakesh ji so it's okay few stocks are going to be in losses in fact i always say this that uh, if if you are doing technical analysis so uh, in fact in my latest batch in my technical analysis marathi i have explained that if you are taking trades based on technical analysis and if you are keeping a risk risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 2 then out of 10 even if you are able to get 3 to 4 correct trades still you are breaking even so for example if you get four correct trades with a risk reward ratio of 1 is to 2 4 to 8 correct and risk you have taken only of 1 so 6 went wrong so 6 ones are 6 so ultimately you ended up gaining two rupees only na 8 minus 6 so that is going to happen you have to, whenever you are if you have if you have taken it based on trading you should have kept your stop loss guys if if it is from a fundamental long term investing it is okay don't be panic so much bahut zyada baat ki but i think uh, harini you had mentioned this at multiple platforms so i thought you may be a little bit disturbed so i just thought of putting uh, my word across to you uh, and here comes a super chat as well okay you know i had not seen that but it's again the same case okay Purna says, "If it's the case, no super chats. What happened, Purna? Hi, hi. Healthy and then family is at priority. Rest can always follow. Absolutely. Hello, hello, me hello. Thoda late, hello. Okay. View on Praj Industries. Um, not seen the chart technically for a long time." it is purely an ethanol play praj industry so from a long term perspective it is good and even from it has shown a nice u right now i'll share my screen and show whatever i'm saying let's close this to see them also okay so here if you can see 1 2 has been moving sideways but if you see even this one this draw trend line i've seen some consolidation and a u there's no pattern as u as such but last almost 4 5 trading sessions it's doing pretty well almost 12 13% uptick uh earnings are negative surprise consolidated profits rises okay okay but uh, if i check the weekly chart also you can see more or less in a range bound pattern right now no specific chart pattern per se other than this you know just kind of a u uh, will be interesting to watch any other uh, parameters that play in and then maybe you can check out but otherwise right now it's more or less like in a sideways trend Sahil says, "Cup and handle on Tata Motors one month chart. Long term target question mark. Okay, let us see Tata Motors one month chart now. Tata Motors. Put the one month chart. Absolute. I already have some drawings here. And uh, yes, I could have drawn it from here also." कहां पे चला गया आई डोंट नो सो दिस इज द कप दिस इज द हैंडल एंड फ्रॉम द बॉटम टू द टॉप एंड फ्रॉम द बॉटम टू द टॉप एब्सोल्युटली एज पर द टेक्निकल एनालिसिस कप एंड हैंडल पैटर्न वी से दैट फ्रॉम द बॉटम पॉइंट ऑफ द कप टू द नेक लाइन दैट डिस्टेंस गेट्स एडेड टू द नेक लाइन करेक्ट एंड देन एज पर दिस 987 सो लुक स्ट्रांग टाटा मोटर्स डेफिनेटली लुक स्ट्रांग एड इट टू योर वॉच लिस्ट डू मोर एनालिसिस whenever you are taking any decision to buy sell 100% do your own analysis if you get that conviction then gives you the conviction to hold also right but yes it's a cup and handle pattern good observation sai
क्या बात है राजेश राजेश सिंह इंक्रीमेंटल कैश रिजर्व रेशो इज हर्ड फ्रॉम आरबीआई बट इंक्रीमेंट इन लाइक्स इज नॉट सीन वेर लेवल वेर लेवल अमेजिंग एंड स्टिल द लाइक्स आर गोइंग टू बी एट द सेम लेवल बट इफ यू हैव लव्ड राजेश इंटेलिजेंस एट लीस्ट फॉर हिम यू शुड स्मैश अ लाइक फॉर टुडेज लाइव स्ट्रीम फैंटास्टिक and yes that was also one point defeat of no confidence motion can be a positive tomorrow uh, i think but market knew about this i mean who thought that this no confidence motion would really i mean at least whatever sense uh, i discussed with few of my friends no one was of the opinion that something will go wrong market knew that nothing in fact had this been passed then it would have been a, a biggest surprise but uh, I don't think that will have an impact as such on the market tomorrow. It was, ठीक है. I must say, Himan ji, कैसे हो आप? I hope you're doing well. Pranav is also saying the same thing. I don't think that will have an impact. Himan ji is asking views on Dixon and Mas Gaon talk. Okay, so Dixon has shown a nice move. I hope you are watching. uh the latest news and uh, the news was about laptops uh, direct import pay there were certain restrict restrictions those were put and because of which dixon saw a sharp move uh dixon technologies let us go back to the daily chart i'll also show you the weekly chart first someone had asked me question long ago in one of our thursday live streams that uh, what about dixon technology what do you feel and i had told you can watch that i don't remember which thursday live stream though but i told that i had booked profit around 4700 level in dixon why because have a look at this july 21 same level retraced went up tuck up again went down again from this level retraced again from this level retraced and that was the reason why i thought that okay 4700 seems to be a very very strong resistance i booked profit somewhere around 4600 something something okay now i had also drawn my own level that what could be a good level to buy this that but you know was not keeping well and uh, lost track when it came down i'll be honest with you and almost at a similar level where i had sold uh, i've reentered uh, the stock reason is very simple logic is very simple <coughs> not in full quantity but yes to some extent i have reentered the stock as i mentioned reason is very simple it has gone above the 4700 mark and it has stayed there for Three days back to back, okay. And uh, if it is able to stay above this, then as for the cup and handle pattern, this is what you can see. Uh, can can see a good move. But this is my logic. This is my analysis based on which I I took this trade. I have taken this investment decision. Uh, fundamentally, so I have discussed about this company in my pro investor members long ago. Only problem with this company is that the net profit margins are very less. to whatever i remember they operated a net profit margin of barely 2 to 3% so that comes as a negative point especially in inflationary scenarios okay so uh, if inflation keeps on increasing that is going to be a negative sign for this company but with more and more positive news flows something like the laptop thing <clears throat> it can be a good one for this stock okay so that was about dixon the second one was masgao doc is what you asked right so one way move uh, showing some sort of hmm, i thought so it may maybe just you know trace back to the pivot level 1733 i think you have this talk if if you had, i think you had mentioned about this in one of the previous live streams and if you have enjoy but uh, can see some some left you know some signs of wearing out uh, maybe some sort of consolidation may get back to the pivot levels is what we can see as per the chart all right moving on i'm taking few super chats few random chats okay navin is saying i'm planning to invest 7 lakhs in next few days already planned for gold and few stocks around 5.5 lakhs should i invest 1.5 lakhs in nifty 50 equal weighted mutual fund is it a good idea uh, either see depends on what is your thought process but 
an equal weighted nifty uh, or simply index fund why not index fund is, is can be the easiest preferred choice Shetty Shrikar says, DreamFox presentation says that it is due to one-time CAM charges and renewal delays. Please tell your views on Map My India. Please take care of your health. Thank you. Um, yes, you are right. It is about one-time CAM charges. And also one more point. Uh, but what is that CAM and all that? And that is what is that one more point is going to be discussed in tomorrow's video. I'm not going to tell about this today. Okay. And the second one is Map My India. Again, a good one. Uh, CE info systems, if I'm not mistaken, CE map my C info, correct? C info systems. Uh, let me share my screen. I have there is a there is a pattern which can be seen in C info systems right now, but it's not following it per se. If you can see here, it's a clear cut example of dash. I'm not going to tell the answer. You have to tell me the answer. It's a clear cut example of what. Hello, I'm waiting. Everyone has to give an answer in the comment section. Where are the chats? Which pattern did you see right now? Yes, absolutely. Flag and pole. Everyone has become a pro now after watching all the Thursday live streams and doing your own homework also. Very nice. I hope you are watching, you are checking out our blogs as well. Um, <clears throat> first, let me just show Map My India, that is C Info Systems. It has given a breakout above this uh, <clears throat> upward limit, but it's not it's not convincingly staying above that. So it will be interesting to watch what happens. Uh, but ideally, it is a flag pattern, flag and pole pattern. So it will be interesting to watch. And for those, who still don't know about this, rachanaranade.com. That is where you have to go. And uh, you can see here, we have a blog section. This is a Marathi uh, technical analysis course, just in case if you don't know what, uh, about this course. Now, it's, it's it's like a dream come true for me, by the way, for those who understand Marathi, share market Marathi. And if you check here, this was my dream. And this was my target for financial year 23, 24, to have all four courses of mastering money management, basics of stock market, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and all in my mother tongue, Marathi. And completed pretty much early. And I'm happy about that. Uh, so anyone who wants to learn about all these courses in Marathi, then this is the page for you. Puja, if you can just paste the link of this page, spe specifically Share Market Marathi, that can be done. And uh, of course, these will, uh, you have to enroll for these courses. But the point that I was mentioning is about blogs. And I hope you're checking out the blogs as well. Uh, these are absolutely free of cost. Every day we put up one blog. And if you have noticed, for those who have been following our blogs for some almost maybe more than a month, at least if you have been following, then you might have understood that as there's one change that has happened in our blogs. Earlier, we used to discuss only about one chart pattern. And now you can see that we have shifted to two chart patterns. So every day, Two chart patterns are discussed. We do talk about uh, the analysis, which sort of, so here you, you'll be able to see what is the stock name, which pattern is this, what is the time frame, what is the observation, everything along with the chart. So what happens is that many times, uh, for those especially who have enrolled for the technical analysis course, you understand the concepts, but brushing it up, as for the latest available data, that will not happen in the course, right? Uh, so course will help you understand the concepts, but latest patterns that are being formed so that just you can brush up that is where the blog will come handy and uh Pooja, if you can also just share the link of this blog section in totality uh so just in case if those who want to have a look at these blogs it will be easy for them right uh going ahead with uh, the next question which was asked by who we did discuss Make my trip. Yes, we did discuss that. Bank of Maharashtra monthly time frame cup and handle pattern ca can be accumulated. P.S. Your video on this stock was informative. Thank you, Pranav. And I'm glad you liked the video. Uh, I had done it based on Q1. No, I had done it. Yeah, I had done it based on Q1 results only. Na? Yes, Q1 results only. 
so uh, the results are pretty good for bank of maharashtra let me just check whether it's a cup and handle pattern or not based on a monthly time frame bank of maharashtra <clears throat> Let me adjust it. Kind of, not much. I'll just share. Moment. Let me share my screen. See if you see here, uh, rather than you know a cup and a handle to be precise, because. I can say that actually it has also retested that level. So if I were to just, I have to cut through this. Okay. So now if I were to do this, uh, agreed. Uh, so I'll just extend this line as well. You can see here, if this be so, it can be a cup and a handle. And I can say, yes, there was a retest as well. And now potential bounce. So if you see this month also oh it is up by eight eight percent roughly previous month 16 percent up Kya baat hai? okay nice so what is the price at which it is trading right now 36 okay looks like a cup and handle pattern uh and on a monthly time frame though so looks yes and it has also like i said it has given a breakout retest and now it is bouncing good observation for now A right time to invest in lump sum in PG Invit. Uh, I, I don't invest a lot in Invits. Uh, a very small chunk of my portfolio is in Invits. And that is more like, uh, you know, a stable flow of income from that perspective. Uh, not much about uh, growth. It's more about stability in Invits, right? Uh, but, and, and lump sum, that word is uh, the only thing which I'm not able to correlate with Ashwin. Uh, I have invested, as I mentioned, but not much and keep on investing in small chunks. Uh, never invested in, in at one shot, to be honest. Tata Motors, we just discussed. Uh, Ultra Tech, huge success of your pick. Thank you, Swaroop. Uh, pick mat bolna bhai. <laughs> we just keep on discussing all fundamentally strong stocks. Ultra Tech has been one of my favorites. My God, since what level have I been uh, buying that stock? And it's a fantastic stock. Very nice fundamental, fundamentally fantastic stock, but good. When he's saying rate gain, superb appreciation in a short span of two months. Yup. <laughs> okay. Technical analysis, LTTS, Railtail. Railtail is going crazy. LTTS is also doing very well right now. Uh, at least has gone up. Let me just check one more time. LTTS. Uh, uh, on a daily pattern, I'll just close this. It has broken out of its range. I'll just show. I had, in fact, in my technical analysis Marathi course, I had given the example of LTTS. I'll share that same thing. So this was an example of a Bollinger Band squeeze and a breakout possible. <clears throat> but finally, it did not, you know, break out from the band. It is actually going very much close to the band right now. Uh, so it is not a classic example of Bollinger Band squeeze and breakout. It was a very nice squeeze. But the breakout, to be honest, has not been that convincing. But at least it has come out of this range. It will be interesting to see if it is able to sustain and go higher and higher, right? That is about LTTS. And second one is Railtail, or beat Railtail, beat IRFC. If it's about IRFC, what dar do there? I sold off IRFC at around 30 something level. It's very painful, you know. But anyways. Uh, this is more of just a round. Uh, it's not a rounding bottom. I think I should give this a name because I can see such patterns in many stocks. But whatever has been seen. Uh, so a downfall consolidation back to this level. And if that be so possible 192 could be a possible thing but it has gone up fantastically i mean if i consider from march march low say it has already gone up 76 percent now entering that stock i i'm at least i'm not entering right now okay 
review on Rajesh exports. Uh, again, I've not tried that for a long time. I think it was in diamond export or something. It's not doing well at all right now. Uh, no signs of recovery as per technical analysis also. I would have stayed away from it. Metro brand super appreciation in last six months. Yes. Oh, or Swarup, I think you have you have been following our pro investor stocks very closely. Huh? You are you are discussing all the pro investor stocks, and I'm happy. And like I always say, right? Uh, not hundred percent of our pro investor stocks will perform. Anyways, like I say, the whole purpose is to make you aware about different stocks from different industries so that you can analyze them. But uh, of late, uh, because of the bull market as well, uh, the stocks have been performing really nicely, and I'm happy, Swarup, that. If you are, I, if you are just calling out the names, that is also fine. But if you have invested in all of these, then well and good. Uh, I mean, I'm sure if you are you know, investing in multiple stocks, uh, then I mean, not too much as well. But if you are diversifying it well, then will definitely benefit you. All right. Uh, moving on to the next one. I would request no more super chats, please. We are almost at ten fifteen. Um, DP, Deepak Nitrate target double bottom on weekly chart. Always feel amazing uh, when everyone directly tells me double bottom weekly chart check. Deepak Nitrate weekly. Yes, but it has not broken. Uh, the neckline, right? So, <coughs> not yet broke, uh, broken the line. Uh, so, will be interesting to see if it is closing above that, or even this is a good one. Let me also check the pivot. Hmm, it is showing some resistance here. Uh, if it is able to sustain above this, close above uh, above this level as well, see a good move. Uh, this is double bottom may i'm sure if you have done my technical analysis course as per technical analysis this height gets stocked up here okay <clears throat> views on pennar industries never check this but pennar industries it's in a Long, long rounding bottom is what I can say. Interesting. I'll share my screen. Uh, 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 uh. See if you see this. This is 2018, huh? 2018, and uh, from here, almost a five year. This is this can be an example of rounding bottom. Okay, more the merrier. Five years is, is a decent enough one. Okay. So, all good rounding bottom and plus it is also retesting this level. Will be interesting to check the fundamentals as well. Because generally I invest based on both fundamental as well as technical. Only fundamental is generally not. I, I, I don't go for that. Uh, but we'll check fundamentals for this as well. Looks interesting technically for sure. Is it good to, to do SIP Nippon Nifty ETF SIP because is investing from last two years? Nifty ETF, no problem. Ajinkya, thank you for the super chat, but no questions asked. One more question, but no more. I mean, one more super chat, but no, no questions asked. Vinayak Mantar, Aple Karma, Amcha Karita Green Ahe, then why this hashtag Black Karma? Karasangu, Vinayak, you got me a lot of t-shirt. One of the Marathi content creators, and one of the posts, I don't know what All right. Ask Kyle, what's happening? 
a lot of super chats, but people are not asking questions. Yes. Today, PM mentioned during his speech, those who invest in stock market, positive on, he's positive on PSU, is what he said during uh, his speech today. And uh, that is going viral, going rounds of virality uh, since he said this uh, today, that uh, if you are wanting to invest in PSU stocks, then they have a promising future. Uh, and what best example can be other than REC? Uh, I mean, if you have been following my channel closely again, I discussed about REC as a Women's Day special stock. And uh, I'll share, I'll quickly share uh, my screen. And Pooja, if you can also share the video link of the Women's Day special, so 8th March video, basically. Uh, just maybe before that, you can check. And I'll pull out REC for you. And we have discussed about this stock in our Thursday live stream so many times, right? If I pull out the monthly chart, it has been in my portfolio for a long time. In fact, the other day, me, uh, I was, me and my husband, we were just you know, cleaning, cleaning up the house. And he found the IPO allotment because at that time, IPO allotment used to come in, in physical form, right? So he found uh, the allotment uh, receipt of REC that was 2008. And since then, we hold that stock. The stock has not moved up since then, to be honest. See, this is 2008. From 50, uh, now it has gone up quite a bit. But since that, you can see it has been in a range for what? Since 2009 to 2023 in the same range, but it has given a lot of dividend. The stock is almost free, more than free for me, for us right now. But this has been a multi-year range breakout that the stock has given right now. And we had discussed this as a Women's Day special stock. Why? Because I said that many uh, women typically fear investing in stock market. Reason being very simple, that stock market is, is volatile in the short term and then, then, you know, automatically that fear comes in. But I had discussed this stock because I said it's a good dividend paying stock. At least some income you'll get from uh, th this stock as, on a regular basis. But other than dividend, have a look at this since March till August, 85% up. And uh, Modiji's speech today also gave me a reiteration that, yes, uh, should be staying invested. Anyways, now that I've been in, in this stock since 2008, but feels good. Okay. Uh, Patel Engineering Technical Analysis. It has corrected by what? Almost 90%. Doesn't show a lot of signs of recovery. Uh, it's very much flat. I would not have bought this. Reliance JFS shares are visible in my DMAT account in unlisted category. Kya baat hai? Listing date, I think, has not been announced yet. Ranjit ji is asking, is DreamFox providing good entry point? Please watch the video releasing tomorrow at 9 p.m. Okay. Yes, this is the last super chat for the day. Uh, please check Manali Petrochemicals and Chambal Fertilizers. Okay. Manali Petro is, uh, had I discussed this in one of my previous videos? I don't remember. But, oh my God. In a downtrend, can't see any revival patterns. So I would have stayed away from this stock, Manali Petrochemicals and Chambal Fertilizers. Similar. Both are in a downtrend. And Chambal is slightly at least going sideways, but still nothing ex doesn't the, the chart at least doesn't look exciting. So would want to stay away. Chandra Molly says, everyone amazed with your analysis and content and forgot to hit the like button. See, at least few people keep on reminding uh, that you have to smash the like button. Others who miss uh the live stream at least they'll be reminded that yes do watch the live stream this is an honest effort from my side to come live at least once a week uh last two weeks i was not well that was the reason why i didn't uh, do the stream but as i mentioned even i keep i'm i always keep on looking forward for the thursday at least one interaction per week with you all uh makes me feel, feel more energized right so uh 
I'm glad that you are liking this analysis. And also Prasanna has, Pranav, sorry, Pranav has also mentioned this absolutely rightly that I had discussed REC even during Diwali 2022 as a part of uh, good stocks for SIP, right? All right, uh, this was it. Uh, that, uh, we did not do only super chats today, but super chats in combination with some general live chats as well uh, by all the members. So I hope you love today's Thursday live stream. I'll see you in the next. Till then, take care, Jai and bye bye.